Raven's Thor. Uh, gotta go to the exotic goods vendor. Whoa, 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 where the hell did you come from? You are a good boy. Oh, you know, we could go do Jotunheim. I forgot we had that option as well, too, the Jotunheim dream. Hello there. Hello there. What do you have today? Schematic for a settlement decoration. Uh, hey, my boy. Um. I'm gonna go get a. Yanli, well, this list. Maybe. Are these debts? No. Those are the names of the deliveries I have yet to make. Still waiting on payment. These are quite far away, and in all directions. It may be they don't have time to travel here. That could be. If you had a mind to deliver them yourself, I would cut you in. Surely they wouldn't refuse you payment. An interesting idea. Maybe when I have the time. Keep the note, just in case. Alright. I must so be on my way that, now. that note we just Bye. gathered. I hope to see you soon. The note that we just picked up and gathered there is a death stranding Easter egg. So we have four four things here we have to carry, right? Or take somewhere. And upon delivering all four, we get a weapon, I believe. Um. Stone slab to the woman who owns the farm just southeast of Lincolnshire Southern Bridge. Lincolnshire Southern Bridge. Lincolnshire at. That's Buckingham. Have we not discovered Lincolnshire yet? I don't know where Lincolnshire is at yet. Maybe I have been there and I just literally just have no idea where the hell it's at. 
a jar of rosewater mead to the hermit hut at the feet of the mountain north of Sabrina Spring in Gloucestershire. Okay, we're not in Gloucestershire yet. A crate of bowls to the jewel maker in Leicester between the church and the old Roman bathhouse. I know where Leicester is. Leicester's here. Crate of bowls. Man, you're ours. We must row in these waters. Strike up a tune. And this was where? This was to the jewel maker in Leicester between the church and old Roman bathhouse. Church and Roman bathhouse. Okay. Well, there's the church. <gasps> the 
that the Roman bathhouse? I don't know. This is the church. This has Roman statues, so... This doesn't seem like a Roman bathhouse, though. Hello, that stupid. Sleep there! What the hell is it? I guess I don't know what a bathhouse looks like. And that's what makes this the most difficult. I just don't know. Warm draft coming from that grate. Feels nice. Smell nice? Because I just got done pissing in it. <laughs> well, you're an arsehole, you know that? the bathhouse, is it? Fuck if I know. Oh no, what? Hey, you have two nail. <laughs> Done good, lads. Scared those wenches right off. Won't be seeing them around anymore. Huh, I'll say. Bloody hags. Excuse me, where is the jewel crafter? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, warm draft coming from that grate. Feels nice. Smell nice? Because I just got done pissing in it. <laughs> well, you're an arsehole, you know that? Well, you're an arsehole, you know that? Um... I don't know where to go with this thing. I, li I honestly just don't know where to go with this thing. Like, I don't know what a bathhouse is. Nope. Okay. Okay. Is there a carpet there? are a drunk. This is a barn. You're doing something ornate. No? Okay. My bowls and cutlery! At last they came. Thank you, stranger. You're welcome. I had no idea you were the person. Alright. <laughs> Blacksmith in London. His workshop is near the church, close to the West Gate. Okay, I know where London's at. London is here. To the west. There's somewhere over in there. Okie doke. Oh, I need a fast travel back and get the anvil. And then we'll take it to London and figure out where the hell that needs to go. Apparently, there's some secret thingy there too underground. We'll have to figure that out eventually there. Eventually. Do back. I need it like snapped in half or something, man. All right, let's get the anvil. Take that to London. I 
spark and another spark. Anvil. Down. Let's go. Well, the old boat can't raise the sail yet. Sing us a song. All right. Off to London. Cinematic camera. Oh, I have to hold it. Now your score is worn by I wish not. Save it for later. Keep it going, keep it going. story I know a crazed man about my age called Rocker we had taken to calling Rocker the Rogue for his habit of save it save it I 
a crazed man about my age called Rokur. We had taken to calling Rokur the Rodent for his habit of collecting axes. For 20 years he collected axes. Hush now. Look! Soldiers dug in over there! Where are we going? I wanted to go there. Why are we... <laughs> Why the fuck are we way up here? I'm turning this boat around, god damn it. Alright, back to the story. For 20 years he collected access of all It wants to go sides. that way, no, we're he going this way. Of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Rokur seduced another man's wife. That man called a Holmgang against Rokur. Rokur accepted the Holmgang, and on the agreed upon day, he laid out 12 of his axes and asked, Which of these will I use to slay you? Will it be Bone Splitter? He said. My bearded blade inscribed with Sather runes, affixed to a handle of English oak? Or Blood Fountain? He continued. My Dane axe, which swings through the air on two hands with the speed of an arrow's flight. Or might it be Twin Wolf Wounder? Broker growled, growing even more bold. A fierce pair of throwing axes. At that moment, oh, time to get some man sweet air the waves. Broker brought a large stone down upon his head. Broker died instantly, and his axes were given away as gifts. <laughs> So foggy. Ugh, we have a long way to go around. Basically, gonna uh, get to right here. Oh, I bet it was going to the to the quest marker. I bet that's where it was going. Well, no, the quest marker is right here. Even I don't even know. I don't even think the game knew where it was going. Oh, there's seals here. Oh, yeah, that's good to know. We need to get seal. Oh, there's a lot of seals here. That's very good to know. We need, uh. We need, uh, seal tails. That's great to know, actually. There's our quest marker.
There are so many seals. A couple mini raids. Game, you beached me. I've been beached. Oh, if I can zoom out. Well, I don't want to follow the coast. That's how we get beached. Although we did find out we, there are a ton of seals on this side of the island though. So that's very good to know. A ton of seals. We'll have to go kill a bunch of good tails.
Lots of sailing. Chop your water ahead. Oh, we got some air on that one. Fucking Tony Hawking in this damn boat right now. This is this. Blockade. No blockade is going to hold me. It's not to draw attention here. Go away. Good law. Why the force? Idiot. Stop what? you. What? <laughs> okay, well, he's dead now. What's up, crazy? Right, so there's a blockade down there. I need a key. Fuck. 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 Fuck Grand Trismus. Fuck Grand Trismus. Trying to reach that banner. Asshole. Fuck Grand Trismus sitting in the local game shop. PS3 is having trouble installing it. This right now. Scratch. I'll keep the rock busy. There's an asshole. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 
Sounds like you should ask me if they can resurface. <laughs> some of the some of the bigger game shops, like the one that you have in town, kind of a resurfacer. Just see if they can resurface discs for you. Anything to surface the disc either. They just put it in a little thing and spin it, spin it a thousand times. I'd love to get a resurfacer of my own, but the problem with resurfacers is the game, the discs I need the most resurfacing done for are GameCube discs. And those don't, you can't put those into a regular disc resurfacer because they're so damn small. I feel like I am going the wrong direction to, to break this blockade. I just need to break the blockade. That's all I want to do. Oh, I see what that's going to do. Well, you can get game GameCube discs will work in a resurfacer. You just have to get a you have to get a certain type of resurfacer. That that's the problem with GameCube. And yeah, I guess Dreamcast falls into that category too. The only reason I didn't lump Dreamcast into this because I, I I own like five Dreamcast games. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't own a Dreamcast, so I just think you don't lump that into there. Can I sleep out this window? Nope. Okay. Yeah, the toothpaste method sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. I know I have a couple of GameCube discs I need to resurface, like the toothpaste method just doesn't work. Like Piglet's big game, Piglet's big game needs to be resurfaced. My anvil's not there anymore. Motherfucker. That was the whole reason to come to London. I hate this fucking game sometimes. Literally just wasted like 20 minutes. God damn it. Fucking game. Um. It's upsetting. got like the PSP stuff too. The PSP discs are weird if, some, if somehow those get scratched. But yeah, Ga GameCube resurfacing takes a whole nother level of resurfacing. I would love to get a resurfacer that can do all discs, but that's, it's like a $200 machine. And I don't have space for it. I don't have space for it, nor do I want to spend $200 on a disc resurfacer. But I'll probably end up buying a hand crank uh, disc resurfacer for the normal size discs. I do have a few like Xbox and 360 PS2 discs that need to be redone.
Yeah, I want to get a PS3. What I would, ideally, I would love to buy like a, a a new PS3, but you know, that's not cheap. Replace our hard drive in the PS3. Fucking handbill. You know, if I didn't have PT on this PS4, I would have I would have replaced this PS4's hard drive with uh, with an SSD by now. But the fact that this hard this hard drive in this PS4 has PT. PS4 will be forever stuck with this shitty hard drive. Why would take command? Jesus Christ, sometimes it's game now. Can I follow? Nope, nope, nope. I already know where you want to go with this. Nope. Going this way, turn the fucking boat. I could. I don't want to. I don't want to run a risk of losing it, so I'm not going to. Plus PS4, like PS5's out now. I'm pissed that my PS3 needs to be repasted again. Like, I literally repasted it a couple years ago. I mean, the thing's a pain in the ass to take apart, too. And go down. It shouldn't need repasted, though. That's the, that's the problem I'm having with it. There's no reason for it to need to be repasted. Like, I literally, I literally repasted it two years ago with really nice thermal paste, and it needs fucking replaced again. And it hasn't been used since I repasted it. Stupid. And PS3s are hard to find here. PS2s, not a problem. PS1s, not a problem. Xbox 360s, not a problem. PS3s, forget it. Like, I bought that PS3 from Goodwill for $30. And it, it had no hookups at all. It, did not, it didn't have cables or a controller. It was just the console. But when I bought it, it turned on and it worked perfectly fine. With the exception of it didn't read some of the discs, so I had to clean it out. And I was like, well, while I'm in here, I'm going to repaste everything because the thermal paste was... It was dry. It was literally flaking off when I opened it. So I replaced the thermal paste, put it all back together, turned it on, Installed Battlefield uh, um, Bad Company 2 and the game worked perfectly fine. No overheating issues, no stuttering, no nothing. It ran for three hours. And then I was like, okay, well, cool. I fixed the PS3, turned it off, unhooked it, put it to the side. And I went to go play, I forgot what game it was on it and it just didn't fucking work. I was like, all right, well. Suck my ass then. Head coach 09. I would need to pull out the, the big, big box to see if I have head coach 09. Actually, no, I don't. I lied. No, I don't. 
I believe I have that marked somewhere. I just need to find a spreadsheet. Oh wow, look at me being overly aggressive with my collection sheets. I didn't even realize I did that. Nice job me. Too bad they're out of date, but nice job me. Head coach 09 you said. I know I probably won't have it for PS3. I'll check. I don't have it for PS3. But, excuse me. Oh, this list is not up to date. <laughs> that list is definitely not up to date. I have Time Crisis 3 and 2, let's see. That high Heat 04, yeah, I don't have Head Coach. If I have it, it's going to be for Xbox. I don't have guns for Time Crisis, no. I have a hard time finding them in the shops here. I found a blue one once and I didn't buy it because I was like, ah, oh, no one's gonna buy it. And I went back to buy it like two days later and it was gone. And I was like, well, shit. I have plenty of Madden games. I got Madden games coming out of my fucking ass. Madden 07, Madden 05 Collector's Edition, Madden 07. I have two copies of Madden 07, two copies of Madden 05. One's a Collector's Edition, one's a regular edition. Madden 04, Madden 01, Madden 06, 03. That's just for PS2. I didn't buy any of the Madden games for PS3 because I know I can get them for like a dollar each. Um, this Xbox 360 list isn't right because I know I have Madden games for that. The same with Xbox. The Xbox list isn't up to date. I got Madden 2000, 2002, Madden 99, PS1. A lot of game days, a lot of NFL game days. I need to get this up to date. Maybe that's what I'll do. I won't stream it, but maybe that's what I'll do this weekend is get everything up to date, my collection up to date. Hard right. Or hard left, rather, not right. Left. Skirt. Turn the fucking boat, Eivor. Yeah, no, I want the guns for time traces. But yeah, I haven't. Uh... I guess I've, I've seen them in the wild once. I've seen one of the guns in the wild once, and I didn't buy it because. Didn't think about it. I, I think I have. I know I have Time Crisis 1, 2, and 3. I don't know if I have 4 for the PS3, I think it was. And I know. I, I, I think I have Crisis Zone 2, which is a part of that franchise. But I don't think I have Crisis Core, or whatever the hell that other one was called. Dude, we hit that rock and just bit Mach, Mach 5 down the river. That was awesome. Speed run. Um. Yeah. I 
I need to go through all my accessories. I just need to organize my shit. Honestly. Some of those games are expensive. Dude, imagine if I could find a brand new PS3. Like, in box, all connections, like, ma like maybe used, like, lightly. Man, that would. Make my day, not gonna lie. Because there are games for the PS3 I do want to play. There's a there's an Alice in Wonderland game for the PS3 I'd really like to play. Obviously, well, Need for Speed was for what? PS2. Underground 1 and 2. That's the only Need for Speeds we need to worry about. good deal like how does the PSTV work does it like just like cast the consoles onto the TV onto the TV or oh, I found a port or is it like or is it like a PSP and a PS3 built into one box and you can just buy the games onto that box and play them I honestly don't even know how the PSTV works. That, oh, that runs the Vita OS. So do you have to like repurchase the games and download them to the PSTV? Or is there like a CD drive that reads the games and does it work with only Vita, PSP, and PS3 or does it work with any Sony console? But it would have to be a downloaded game, right? A, a digital, a digitally bought game. It couldn't be like a disc game. Like for, like if I bought Metal Gear Four, or if I bought, yeah, Metal Gear Four, right from GameStop, like I would, if in order to play it on the PS TV, I would have to still purchase it digitally to play it onto the PS TV. That's a raid. Does it run PS3 games? Well, oh, never mind then. I'll just utilize my PSP then. When the when the day comes, I want to play that shitty Assassin's Creed game. have to find all the hookups for it again. I know where the charger is at for the for the PSP. 
Don't know where the video cables are at right now. But I do know where the charger is at. So that's a step in the right direction. Oh, that is already at yeah, 340. Not quite ready for that one yet. Jesus Christ, what a long, long way to go. Uh, yeah, two or three. I can't remember which. The one with the TV out. Yeah, I don't know where the cables are at though for it. I think they're back there. In the, in the pile. In the pile of wires behind me that you can't see. Now there's a few PSP games I do want to play. Like I want to do uh, Peace Walker eventually. The only thing I have against PSP is that they don't have trophies, so it makes me not want to 100% anything. Game Boy. Drive that I don't use. I think it has two games on it right now. I think it has Minish Cap and Doug's, Doug's Big Game. Where the hell's my PS? Or is it this room? I have a bunch of these. Nice. Those are NES, pl NES plastic cases. Box cases. There it is. Found it. I have the PSP 2001. Does it turn on still? I wonder if it has power. Nope. He's clean though, has some weird sticky stuff on it. Yeah, that's the biggest thing that I think that's my biggest like eh to wanting to play my PSP is that it doesn't have trophies, so I just I don't care enough to play the games on it. Realistically what I'd like to do is to not play off of the PSP itself, but actually get a PS3 and remote play the PSP the PSP onto the PS3. Ideally, that's what I would like to do. Because I'd rather play... I'd rather play it off of the PS3 controller than the actual PSP itself. 
but it wouldn't be the end of the world if I had to play it off the PSP. The only reason I don't, don't want to play it off the PSP is because that little analog joystick on his dog shit. That's the only reason I don't want to play it on the PSP. That little analog stick's stupid. All this to deliver a fucking anvil. Stupid Death Stranding quest. Yeah, I want to do Bloodlines, which is the PSP shit version of Assassin's Creed. I do want to play Peace Walker eventually. I do want to play A Acid 1 and 2. I'd have to buy Acid 1, though. I have Acid 2. I'd have to buy 1. It'd be fun to go revisit the old God of Wars that were on it. Like, I have a few PSP games I wouldn't mind playing. They're all sitting right back there. I don't own many. I think I own like six PSP games though. PSP is something I just don't care to collect for. Really, honestly, so like anything other than Nintendo, I don't give a shit about collecting for right now. Nintendo and Atari, that's not true, Atari 2600 I, I collect for as well. Atari 2600 and Nintendo are the are really the only two things I, I want to collect for. I need to pick up that anvil. Alright. Now where do we deliver this at? To the blacksmith in London, his workshop is near the church close to the west gate. Near the church close to the west gate. church <gasps> cathedral I mean cathedral is a church right Dominus Altum Septimentum Alpha Liquidia Domino. That's the answer Harry Potter spells, I don't like it. Oh, there's a blacksmith. Hello, chat. Here is your anvil. No, don't want it there. Mm -hmm. Here you go, chap. 
Is that... Is that my new anvil? Lord, I thought it had been pilfered by bandits. I cannot thank you enough. everyone the other two one requires Glowshire which is right here which I don't know anything about Glowshire yet at all and the other one I forgot where the, oh, the other one wanted me to go to some Lincoln place and I don't I could not find where this Lincoln place was Lincolnshire. So it's probably in here somewhere. I just haven't discovered it yet. So that is what it is there. Alright, now we gotta figure out. So, Folk and Seagird. Now we gotta do that. Get to this quest here, but let's do this one. We're, we're literally right here. Might as well just do this one quick. Yeah, I remember when we were doing Winnie the Pooh Rumbly Tumbly Adventure. And Oth bought uh, Oth's, Oth's copy of Winnie the Pooh Rumbly Tumbly was pretty scratched up, and he. Uh, he toothpasted it a few times and got it to work. Aid me. Be my eyes. I think I was the only one. No, I, I was one of two people in that race that had, that had a manual for the game too, which was even funnier. I've, I've, I've toothpasted the Game Boy Player disc a couple times. Um, Powerpuff Girls, I've did a lot. Powerpuff Girls needs to be completely resurfaced. Powerpuff Girls on GameCube is super fun. I have fun, a friend who needs that little Roman man works. you have. Octavian of London. I have a guess who your friend is, and no. Osbert cannot have his greasy pedestrian fingers on something so exquisite. Osbert? <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Yes, Osbert. A name fit for a poor failure. It'll cost a cow's weight in silver to get it in his hands. I'll give you the filthy silver. Oh, oh, that is... Thank you. Well, I should hope so. You may take the Legionnaire. Do I have it? Oh. <laughs> Going. We'll have to take this back to Osper. dump this off quick to the museum now, I used to have a program I used to subscribe to a program to where I could scan the UPC codes or the barcodes on the boxes and it would add it to my collection but I stopped using it, and I got so I got so far behind on it, and then just I don't know. I stopped using it really. That was a big reason. I just cut my 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 subscription from it. But it was it was pretty cool. Like you could scan you could scan your barcode, and it would read it, tell you it would 
added the game to your collection list and then it would tell you how much the game was worth and within that app you could actually put it up for trade as well too so you could like trade the game for something of similar value and it was pretty damn cool but I fell so far behind on it and a lot of my like old games like NES and SNES games and stuff don't have boxes so I had to like manually insert it and it just uh, got tired of it Oh, there you go. Congratulations on installing Gran Turismo. Sliding. can compare to sagas, to true poetry. Come Oh, speaking of buffalo tendies in the air fryer, I found a way to cook chicken in the air fryer that not only is delicious, but is juicy as hell. Octavian, I have something that may interest you. Hmm? Maximilian sends his regards. Oh, <gasps> what? He... he gave this to you? That perfect little wretch! How did he bring himself to part with it? Ask no questions, hear no lies. I only hope you enjoy it, and that neither of us have to see that man again. Oh, thank you, Eivor. Thank you. Okay, so... I have to go. See you soon. Valley, Eivor. So, what you do... I haven't done this with breasts yet, but I did this with tender, tenderloins and tenders. So... I don't know how big your basket is, but my basket can fit four tenders or tenderloins with space. So you pop, pop the four in there, put it in, Set it for 400 degrees, for me, 400 degrees for four minutes. Or it can do eight, just know to flip them halfway through. 400 degrees, four minutes. When it goes off, flip them. One side is gonna look kinda done, and the other side is not gonna look done at all. The other side, one side is gonna be white, one side is gonna be pink. That's why you gotta flip them. Flip them, air fry them again for another three to four minutes at 400 degrees. Pull them out, pull them out immediately. Don't let them sit in the air fryer because they'll just continue to cook in the air fryer because the air fryer is hot. Take them out of the air fryer immediately. Put them on a cutting board and cut into them, and they are juicy and tender and holy shit. Probably some of the best chicken tenderloins and tenders I've made. I think it conquers it. It is quick, clever, accessible to all. It is the art. Hey there! How are you? Yeah, it was phenomenal. I guess I haven't tried it with breasts yet. I'm still trying to figure out how to do breasts. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to do breasts well in the air fryer. Breasts are a tough one because they're 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 thick in the middle. They're they're a, they're a tough one to figure out. I think if you butter, I think if you were to butterfly a chicken breast and do what I just told you to do what for the tenderloins, I think you can get away with it. But you'd have to butterfly, butterfly the breast. But yeah, I started doing that because I would make, uh, I'd make chicken for salads. I was just like, oh shit, this is amazing. May I see your stores? You should buy that. So yeah, what I do now is, um, I'll buy, if I'm gonna make chicken tenders, I'll buy the chicken tenders in the, in the thing, whatever, you know, in the, in the meat section. I'll be then sure obviously egg, panko breadcrumbs, uh, flour and whatnot. Possum in. 
Then I take some mayo and sriracha and make some spicy mayo. God damn. I'm practically giving it away. Then shopping for the I will see you later. Don't be a stranger. Tungsten for that now. Is that at a hundred? Does that take tungsten? Not yet. Does now. That 205 power. We could go do Jotunheim. The tattoos give you different powers? No. Tattoos are just purely aesthetic. I'm gonna do Jotunheim. I don't know if I'm gonna do Jotunheim tonight though. So I think Jotunheim's gonna take us over. Well, maybe not. Well, no, it will because I got I'm gonna 100 percent it. So yeah, Jotunheim's gonna take us a while. And it's already quarter after nine. Um we'll go do Abbott's Gamble. We'll go do Kent's uh, allegiance. No, tattoos are just purely aesthetic. You buy them for the tattoo shop in town. The runes give you extra stuff, like extra powers and whatnot that you can put into your armor and your weapons. But Varen's Axe, I think, has two more upgrades left before this is completely done. And then basically from there I debate whether or not I want to do two one-handed weapons or a two-handed weapon. I haven't found a two-handed weapon I've liked yet, so... Like I said, I really liked the daggers, but I felt I felt like the daggers were were cheating a little bit. We finish off the Death Stranding quest line. We can get a, a flail that's actually apparently really good. But it's, a, it's a flail. It's so slow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Whoever made these roads did not do a good job making these roads. They get the Department of Transportation out here and repave them. Alright. Get the dots out there. No! I, uh, so I was doing the, uh, second part of the Death Stranding quest line in this game and uh, I was like oh I'm just gonna boat boat to London because that would be quicker instead of carrying this thing I'll better watch your ass so. Uh, I was like, all right, yeah, I'm just let it follow, follow the, follow the uh, river, you know, and then just go to my destination that I told you to go to. No problem, easy peasy. Dude, it took me, it took me, where are we at here? Out this way. No. Yeah. Out this way. And then started pushing me up north this way. And I was like, no, no. London is down here. You're taking me the completely wrong way. <laughs> so I literally spent like 30 minutes sailing to London. Because the game didn't know what the hell to do. Link's paws for the hunting, hunting shack. Did not Augustine make a distinction between faith and understanding? Oh, it's on top of the church over there. No stock in faith, only in the rational proof. The science of the divine. I don't want to talk to Phasm yet. Get this fast travel point here. I'm going to start smashing church windows. I can't get in here soon. Still going to smash them. Don't care. Why 
Why can't I walk out that door? It's a dog. <laughs> Secret ale recipe, eh? Bitches to be tung and boom. Ow. Alright, let's see if this is the right key for this. Pardon me, game? Alright, motherfuckers, I see you. Out of the well, dummy. There you go. Now, do I have the right key? For a nickel ingot, I just do not care about. It feels bad. Maybe I'll put it towards one of the daggers. Like I said, the daggers are fun. It just they feel like cheating. Though, because they're so fast, and this, they stun so hard, and they do so much damage. But how much nickel do we have now? I have seven nickel. Which means I could I could do the long sword, but again, it's kind of slow. Well, it's it's a forty-three speed. I mean, it's not as slow as the one-handed axes are. Like, increases melee damage after dodge. Like, that's all we do is dodge. You know, this does 65 damage. This is 118 now, but it also has seven upgrades to it. This only has three, you know? <laughs> like... The nice thing that we have now is that we're using dual uh, dual bear weapons right now, and we benefit highly off of off of uh, bear stuff. So. Oops. Uh, 
points of interest. What do we got in here? A couple raids. Have we killed a zealot in Kent yet? I don't even know. We may have. I think in order for a zealot to appear in the zone, you have to do a raid in that zone. I don't know if I've done a raid in Kent yet or not. At least I think that's how it works. It seems like every time I've went to go do or try to kill a zealot, I can't find any, and then if I do a raid, they're all over there. I can find them immediately. What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes. For without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes. No, I mean, that is too simplistic. Or the priest whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Uh, some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hawkbert? You question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. So what of the Joy Kanga Fulke? In your message, you said you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend. Abbot Cunibert, full of pious fire, but with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Cunibert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together. Alright, instrument of the ancients. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basil? I am always at peace, and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. Yes, I same. watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. This is our duty. The hidden ones You know, calling. for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition. I like his sword. But it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important. And I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. I'm pissed that I can't use one-handed swords in this game. <laughs> Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Bessem says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. 
What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thane he has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the Thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. Why not kill him in secret and petition Alfred for the seat? As a man of God, I cannot. Besides, he who stands behind the throne can better pull on the puppet's threads. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstone has the best fish in Wessex. Falkenstone. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you at Falkenstein. There's something with Basim. I, there's something with him that's just not, not quite there. Like, not in a chat. Oh, oh, there's a zealot, boys. You know, you know what that means. We haven't killed a zealot in like three nights. All right, we're zealot, we're zealot hungry right now. What level we guessing the the zealot is gonna be right now? Put your guesses in chat. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess three three four. No, not three forty. I'm gonna guess two forty. Where's the 
third angry spot out on him. I can't see. They're just, they're not fun to fight when they're up level. So hard. They're way more fun to fight when they're like a hundred levels over you. No more winters for you. Better to die than face my lords. I hope my Magister Magnus forgives me. For so long, I looked to him for guidance, for order. three more zealots now. Slow? True Lord cannot forgive you. They cannot. <laughs> now I will turn my gaze to Ward and Tiwar and Funor. I will continue to turn until I find some forgiveness. You will spin and drill yourself to an endless bottom. Shall we go raiding too? Right? Don't need help. Oh, do I need? I don't have another ration bag. Yeah. We don't need rations either. Since we're right here, need to cloak myself here. Hey! Here. I need help. Someone come break this door down with me. Give me a hand over here. Men. 
Nice job. Way. What's going on over here? This is the flail guy over here just going ham on our guys. Ow. Rude. Hell out of here. Ow. I don't even want to play like that, eh? Idiot. That treasure right there. <laughs> You're like a lame mule. Down the fuck oh my god. Fine. Alright. 
Successful raid. Good work, everyone. <laughs> There's another raid right here. Right next to where we need to go. Our stupid cloak on again. <laughs> but yeah, we have three more zealots left to kill, which is crazy to think about. Oh, yeah, three more zealots left. And a bunch of order members still. I mean, if we look back at like my Origins playthrough, like I killed all of the bounty hunters really early on. That's how I got such good weapons early on in that game, just because of the bounty hunters. Same with Odyssey. I did the same shit. Once I figured out how to cheese, cheese everything in Odyssey, like. Oh, there's a gaggle of people right here. Like, there was just too many people there for it to not be worthwhile to do that. Like, we got two pieces of nickel out of that. Like, there was just so many people there. Ah! 
the hell did you come from? Three pieces of nickel. We're doing another raid, too. What's up, everyone? Wizaroo right there. Didn't Wizaroo that one though, did he? Church, it's good. Give me a hand. All right. I smell still my hand. You don't smell anything, lady, all right? Here, then we'll work our way back down to the to the coast. Hey, can't do this alone. Won't take charge. Monster jammed right there. Oh, this is 
this poor soul. You die. <laughs> Need hail. Make sure to get the little boxes on these rays as well because they uh, typically have more supplies in them. That guy just came zipping in at the wrong time, didn't it? You hate to see it. Spend a few days here. Someone may know where he went. I'm in no mood for wind belching, so choose your words well. I heard the king's men came through here, cast a stir. A man of your wit noticed them, I bet. I am witty. Finally, someone sees. I'm always telling the wife, but will she listen? Will she bollocks? Alfred's emissary. Where? Him and the Bard ended up in a copse by the bridge doing Lord knows what. 
sounded like they were murdering a cat. Singing? If you say so. and lollygagging. I'm looking for someone. An emissary from Alfred. Have you seen such a man? Ooh, la-dee-da. Listen to you all, I and mighty. Get away with you, you valley lily. Valley lily. If you would rather feel the edge of my blade, it can be arranged. Yeah, that I respect. Forceful, to the point, as refreshing as a summer ale. You're a strange fish. Did you see the man or not? I did. He was getting pie-eyed with that barred gowan and causing quite a ruckus. They left together. See? That wasn't hard, was it? Harder than it should have been. There was a bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him. See if he knows anything. Fuck his head. Why well, just clips through the building? So you know that's a thing. Speed run. Speed run. <laughs> it's something with the camera angle, so you can clip yourself through a building. So that's that's twice I've done that this playthrough now. That ill swamped skull can't have gone far. Another tottering teat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. All right, y'all ready for this? Yeet. Oh. Sober, yeah. Oh, oh, it's cold as a witch's tit in here. I was gonna throw him into the oh, river. God's truth, fire on you. Oh, what are you fed or wakes me? I'm the one you sing of, Bard, stern of eye and scanned of mercy. Have you not seen the ravens feasting in my wake? Enough! Your word mangles are making my hair ache. You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall? How about something long and sharp in your gut? All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the white coast to the southeast, Dover Fortress. 
He said it is where they train those religious fanatics. Zealots. They pray all night instead of sleeping. My thanks. And in return, wisdom. Too much beer bibing will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, weaver of the obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. So much back and forth. Where am I supposed to go? All over here. the closest fast travel. A lot of back and forth in this one. It's like, go find this person, talk to him, then go travel 500 miles away to go talk to another person. Emissary made for Dover Fortress, the southeast coast. Uh, where's my divey thing? So yeah, so whoever wants to speedrun this game, there's definitely a lot of glitches clipping in and out of buildings. It's it feel it's camera camera centric though. I don't know exactly how it works fully, but I've done it twice and it's been because like the camera gets stuck in the wall. Just assumes Abor is outside and just clips you back out. Dude, could you imagine a 100% speed run of this game? Oh. I'm assuming they don't want me in here. I must be careful now. I'm gonna assume they don't friend. they don't want me in here. Stay awake. 
What's that about? Looks like we're rolled into the brush, have you? Right in the neck. A lot of arrows. My, my playstyle has definitely been wolf since I got this new bow.
stuff to collect now. We literally just wiped out like the whole front half of this uh, camp fortress. Steal the letter without killing the emissary. If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary. Alfred's chosen elderman is a thane called Tetmet. The abbot Cunebert will want to know. Show me. I have a feeling we're gonna be back here again. I should meet Basil and the Abbot in Falkenstein. I kinda of wanna finish off this little place here. At least, like the top portions of it. Keep on the lookout for those archers. for us. Probably useful, ain't it? 
have assumed it would be. Well, I could have shot that chandelier thing up there. Could have shot that and just killed them all. Whatever. Some fortress, man. This fortress sucks. One man just took out an entire fortress? Come on now. Shit. So I think the key is like somewhere around this height. Oh, this is the uh, sleeping arrow. Very angry.
gonna need trousers. Alright. So we have what? The helmet, the cloak, the chest. I think we have four of the five brigadine pieces. Which, like I said, we would have used that armor set if I didn't get the if I didn't have the berserker set. Honestly, it's hard to find bear stuff in this game. Like the game very much like since it's an Assassin's Creed game, it wants you to do like stealthy shit. But the game gives you a ton of Raven stuff. And Raven is the uh the assassination build. And it this game gives you a ton of Raven armors and weapons and it's insane. Let's take a look at our armor real quick. Like, what's our additional increase to attack and armor for the five set, which is great. Increase speed when taking damage until you heal yourself, which is again good. Versus the brigadines, which is increases armor when surrounded by two or more enemies and increases in an additional increase to melee damage. Like, it's just really good too. But this gives me an increase to arm to attack and armor. So the only thing I wish is I wish I had a better two-handed two-handed weapon for it. Honestly. I wish I had, I wish I had a better weapon for the set. Like I don't feel berserkery at all. Like, I definitely have been playing a lot more wolf style, just simply because that bow I have is so goddamn good. Come on. There you go. Or dummy. You must try. Eivor, you have news? I have news. Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rusister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. 
To inspire loyalty, Tetman must owe you something, such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed, a man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps... Perhaps not. Has he any family we could hold for ransom? You could swoop in, rescue them, play the hero. There's nobody in this world that Tedman cares more for than Tedman. I could think on it, but we haven't much time. There's another way. Much easier. Are you hiding something, Bathen? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumber yard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempts I mean... will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. We saw that fortress pretty mechanism. easily. And Fulke? When I have Tebman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. Huh? I do a roaring trade at Reculver and Tunbridge. I pay well for my catch. The monks? Do those parchment skin Christians ever eat meat? I'm wary of this avid Bethan. He is self serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive. We may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The Frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the Scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess. The Scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. But the scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Folke, he will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. This field is just ahead. Lead. I will follow. I have a feeling that Basim is gonna die. I don't know by who yet, but I feel like he's going to die. I hope you work. I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude. He will deliver Fulke. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. Oh, you prefer to work in the shadows. Hey! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
more time, I'm telling you. If he says my boots are dirty or my hair needs combing, I will split him off. You're full of swamp gas. You'll do what you always do. Now and ah. oh. I'm not easy. and you're spending mine! Do you dare to question the orders of the great Thane Tedmund? I will have you fly! Yeah. That's all five pieces of Brigadine set right there. Job than this. We have a quarter to fill. We must keep the Danes from Ken... Danes! No! No! Protect me! We should on love on the Fondia! Wait! I'll finish you! I'm ready to kidnap you. Flay off of the way swelta. I'm ready to kidnap you. He quelleth us in a fram. We should on love on the fundia. Damn. I'm still ready to kidnap you. Flay off of the way swelta. There we go. Mm. Mm. Stop caterwauling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints protect me! Silence will save you, Tedmund. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows? So we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels? We hide in plain sight. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success, the final strike. I've... Okay, it's busy. 
I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak and when to stay silent. For silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one. You truly embrace the concept of hiding in plain sight, eh? To its very fullest. As I do in everything. the fucking horse, dude. God damn it. God. Halt, Danes. In the name of Alfred, King of Wessex. I demand you release his royal subject into my care. Come no closer, Christian. Else your man dies by my blade. Please, I I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood, I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I will slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar? You are far from Augustine's Priory. Uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shergar. Summon Tetman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tetman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You have no use to us, then. Perhaps I should just kill you here and now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let me think. Let me think. Oh, Danes. T to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here. I was told to be wary of. I acting as Tedmund, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Rusester. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first. I, I am still Tedmund, the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nornia knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Rusester was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We'll send word when we're ready to capture Tedmund. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. Do what you want with him. I won't risk our plan on the shambling of this fool. Come. Brother Shergar. And perhaps today would be the time to consider a vow of silence? An army of Danes is all we need to take the fortress. Let us hope. It is best to snare a wasp with honey. Have you ever considered more subtlety? I leave manipulation to you, Basil. You appear to see it as an art. It is both art and science to bend a man to your will, and harder still to convince them that they are firmly in control. Shergar was quick to betray his lord. Do you not think he would sell us out as swiftly? Perhaps. Perhaps not. I do not presume to know that heart is so good. Bitch ass bear. Perhaps. Perhaps not. 
I do not presume to know a man's heart in so brief a meeting. This prattle was sad and ugly, like a weeping babe. You have little patience for chittering squirrels. And yet, I allow you to squeak in my ear, along all the roads and byways of Kent. Because you are wise, and you see the same qualities in me. That must be it. We are nearing the camp. Let us hope there are Danes enough to storm a fortress. Otherwise, this abbot's game is a long one. It must be played, if we are to reclaim Sigurd. Say why this takes so long right here. Well, I got seven points to put in. I really don't know what to put put them in right now. Fate figure it out for me. I honestly have nothing else really to put them in that's worthwhile for me. Yeah, what one new ability? Yeah, right here. The tier two of the. Of the... I, I already technically had that with my bow, so I really don't have a need to uh, have that skill at all. Stretch your wings. Face. We are too late. There is a You are lives, friend. These Saxon whore sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. March with us on Rusester and drain it of riches. I will gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercy, I will heed the call. Gidrich will provide our Viking a horde. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored up river, but a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I will remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Gidrich and the men of Oxenfordshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. And they will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? 
And what is our plan? In the morning, you will go to Buckingham, remind Giedrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Rusesta with the ships. Ah, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I will tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. You've traveled so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a hidden one? Always on the move? No. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Weird. <laughs> For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have... I would have... There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. Well, that was a dark cutscene. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly. Even now. I am sorry, Asim. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend, a mentor. A man I would trust with anything. But a man you trust with anything can take everything. He took all I had. All I had. With the chain down, Gidrich and the ships can get through. Rusester will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. Interesting cutscene to say the least. I'm stuck. I know exactly this place that we're going to. We broke the chains here once before. Fucking 
Wars. Eivor, we await your orders. You brought your weapons and armor. Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our friends. Well met, old friend. When the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Rusester? Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole. I wish I could have a two-handed warhammer. Like, that would be sick, I think. Like, there's two weapons in the game that kind of makes me sad they're not in the game. Or that at least you can't use as Eivor, and that's one-handed swords and two-handed war warhammers. The fact you can't use swords really blows my mind. Like, I, I get that Vikings dominantly used axes and stuff, but, like, it still blows. Look at it. Like, they used swords, right? Not unheard of.
him there, did he? Double flail. What a god. Indro was going down, man. Double flail. You did. 
dare to take this fortress, Dean. Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tedmund. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised! If riches are all you care about, the church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen! You handle me too roughly! You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane! I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill my men, for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough! man go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ slave. Twenty chests of silver. Give them all they ask, Kinnebert. A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow. I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Air! I need... I need air! He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no! Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war... ...as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... ...by the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find full care ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. All right. Fought like beasts, escaped from your hell today, Gidrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangle briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. I should be cautious around here.
travel. Would say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come, and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Cunebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Your guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods, they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell I you. I hate the bug where their the mouth doesn't move. The gods are real and their cousins. power is within our grasp. <laughs> you will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it cloves I taste? Well. That concludes supper. Kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another one. Hey, yes, the is able. What's that, dude? Your guard waits on the edge of my axe, Sessions.
Fulke let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did. And with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be. But it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd. My brother. Of course it is. Then come. Let us dive into the Maw of Death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. <laughs> Will not be for nothing, Avon. We will find Sigurd. Travel point to oh, fuck me. Honestly, what I ought to do off stream is just like take the ship and just have it follow the rivers and just find all the fast travel seaports. Honestly. to have that marked. Oh, the horse is asleep. Wake up! Don't let him wake up. You're not asleep. Actually, hit up this fast travel point right over there. We are right here for it, so let's go get yeah. this quick. Piggy! Hey, good evening, Looper. Or morning for you. How are you doing? Good, going good. We're trying to finish out Kent real quick. A lot longer than I anticipated it taking. Um, oh, we've done. So, this game has an Easter egg for Death Stranding where you can pick up a note and it's basically like two. There's, there, well, not two. There's four quests associated with the note that aren't trackable. The only way to track them is literally just reading the note. Uh, we did two of those tonight so far. Um, the other two places that we have to go we haven't discovered yet. So that's just going to have to be it. I'm still debating what kind of weapons I want to use. <laughs> I haven't fully decided yet. I, wanted, I want a two-handed axe. That's what I ultimately want is a two-handed axe. But I haven't found a two-handed axe I've liked yet. <laughs> that donk that donkey went from a That's weird. Uh oh we've done two we did two raids tonight. We've been pretty busy. Yeah, we've gotten a lot. We've gotten a lot accomplished tonight so far. I honestly, I just, I, 
You know, I'm gonna find a two-handed axe, and I'm still gonna be like, you know, I don't like this weapon. Because, like, I can't find... I can't find weapons that I genuinely like in this game. I think if I if I've had any major issues with the game, it's the weapons. This place swarms with Fulke's people. Stigger will be well guarded. Caution and subtlety should be our path. Ready? Follow me. Like, I thought about going back to- like, like I'm wearing this Berserker armor, right? This place and I'm supposed to be a Berserker. A but, like, give us sanctum? I can't get a two-handed weapon that I like that makes me want to be a Berserker. I don't like the appearance, and the bonuses to, like, any of the two-handers are just not good. Chastise me like a child, Basil. I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. There's a treasure map in there, but I guard you like a father. Nothing is served with your brutal end. You have much to do in this life. I know it. More riddles, sly tongue. Gonna bust right in. All right, boys, let's go. So we are to London. If she's still here, I will burn this Christ house to the ground. Then let us go. Rolls around too damn much. I shot Basil. Basil, whatever your name is. Do we not loot the key off him? Yeah, I mostly just don't like the look of them, and they're like the game. The game very much tells you like, hey, like these weapons suck. Just don't even use them, 
and they're like the weapons I kind of want to use. Fulkay, I'm here. Face me. Have a care, Eivor. You will play into our hands. What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? By Odin, this is a sick tapestry she wove. For every drop of his blood she spilled, I will take a meat horn more. Like the bow I got is pretty cool. Like I like my bow. But it's also the best bow in the game. Comes with a gym membership. I mean you're I'm a Viking. I'm a berserker Viking. Like if I was playing like Raven style, then the dual wielding like daggers or axes make sense, but I'm I literally play as a berserking Viking. in Sussex. The order trains soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Well, now we know why Sigurd doesn't have a hand in the opening segment of the game. Anything else? Documents of interest to the hidden ones. Hyden will surely want to look. But for Sigurd... Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim, she severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tepnan did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. We've completed the Kent arc. Oh, I got a trophy. Hell yeah. Oh, here we go. I found a weapon list. I feel like I have all of the one-handed web or one of all the one-handed axes already. I have both one-handed hammers. I don't. Ha I'm missing one flail. I'm missing two daggers. I have both great swords. Okay, there's a bunch of two-handed axes. Critical damage when surrounded by three CIs. It's just not good. <laughs> it's just not good. And it's a wolf aligned axe. Okay, here's a bear aligned axe. Battle Sparth axe. Increases attack when surrounded by three or more enemies. I mean. <sighs> it's a 32 speed, so it's slower than. Slower than hell, which I get, it's a two hander, but. Like Bone Biter's Wolf aligned. 
Like, the Sepulcher Axe is great. I would actually use it if it wasn't so damn ugly. Like, it's, it's so, so ugly. Like, there it is, right there. It's so... If it wasn't all gold, I'd be fine with it. But the fact that it's all gold, it's so ugly. And that's his final form, which sucks even more. And, like, this one would be fine, but... Increased stun after heavy hits, not good. Like, this ignites your weapon after a critical hit. Increases crit damage, but like, okay, so that's a 43 speed gray sword, which is not bad. It's a little bit slower than the one handed axe, right? I like spears are not my playstyle at all. But like, I love the the daggers are fun, but they they feel like they like they feel so cheap. Like I literally feel like I just just win the game whenever I'm wielding them. It just increases ability damage, which I hardly don't use unless I'm fighting a big named person. And like even this, like increase the speed after each hit, like I don't care about that. The same with this one, heavy critical, heavy critical hits knock enemies on the ground, like I don't care. This one's good though, increases attack after each hit, like that's good. Like, maybe I just suck it up and use the ugly-ass gold axe. It's just, it's so ugly. And, like, I could upgrade this one to make it look better. But the speed is dog shit on it. I guess the speed is the same as it is on the Sepulcher. It's a little bit slower. Increase the stun after heavy hit, though. Like, it's so hard. I, oh, God. I just let fate do its thing now because I literally have nothing else to like put points into. Like that is my biggest issue with this game are the weapons. I feel like the weapons are just not, they're not thought out and yeah, I just, I just don't like the weapons. <laughs> The, wep the weapons just did not, don't seem to be well planned. I feel like they watched like the first season of the of the show Vikings and was like, "Oh, hey, these people use use one-handed axes all the time. We'll just do that." And that and that was it.
I'll get this little scroll here if I can. Try to find this chest right there. Probably have to get it from inside. I wish I liked the spears. The spears, the spears, one hundred percent not my play style. The golden dragon who climbed mountains. that shit later. <laughs> That's London. There you go. Yeah, and I wish I liked the, the spears. I haven't given the flail a chance. But apparently one of the best weapons in the game is a flail that we're in progress of getting right now. Ton of shields. Ton of bows. There's a ton of two handed axes. They all just suck. Like, here's a dagger right here. Copus, 81 speed with 99 stun. Restores a low amount of health for each critical hit. Spinning Death Flail, 38 speed, so it's slow. Heavy finisher hits have a chance to drop a firebomb. Great. And it's Raven aligned in a way, so it's not like it matters. How much nickel do I have? Yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not impressed with the weapons in this game. What have you got for me today? I have 12 nickel. You have a keen eye for quality.
Is that what you want? You like the looks of that one? No, I don't like the looks of this one. That's the problem. This sucks that the final appearance is already reached. God damn it. I feel like we're not gonna crit nearly as much ah, for the two handed weapons. That one's pretty good. I can get you that one easy. Like the doppelhander is just as fast as a one-handed axe. It would do more damage. All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. That one's pretty good. Pairing has a chance to create a small fire around you. Like, that's kind of cool. But I don't know how, I don't, how often is that proc, right? Party of the gods. have a keen eye for quality. I do good. I'm off. May they sing of your deeds and my craftsmanship. <laughs> play with this for a bit. I don't know how much I'm gonna like it. Nonsense! It's not that complicated. Why is that? You do not clothes? appreciate the subtleties of a cutting flight. That is why you misunderstand. Oh please let me fight Dag right now. Oh, there he is. Come on, let me at him. Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he's alive, but not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Randy. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor. We deserve the truth. I need to speak with Randy. Step aside, now. You never found him. 
Because you didn't look. <clears throat> I see you, Eivor. I know what you are. God, I want to kill him so bad. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That mad woman Fulke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Radri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. You know, Renvi didn't care about Sigurd when her and I were banging. Just throw that out there. Eivor, old Giedrich wanted nothing to do with a formal ceremony to make him Alderman, but I've convinced him that it's for the good of the Shire. King Keowulf himself will preside. If you are able to come, I'm certain Giedrich would be most appreciative. Thane Holt. So, that explains why in our first dream of the game, Sigurd only has one hand. So we have, we have that answer now. I want to kill Dag so bad. Oh, come on, let this be it. Don't let this be a dream. Face me, Eivor! Oh, don't let this be a dream. Stop there, Wolf Kissed. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment, because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag. But that offer is gone. I have no need of it! My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home. Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death. I accept. We God damn, about time. Ah! A final act of courage. Very well. Let the circle be made. You are. I'll burn you like a suckling pig! Please! Please, both of you! Nope, he fucked up! Is that the best you can do? Dad. 
Dag fucked up, that means he gets lit on fire. I do not want to do this. Walk away. Oh, dual wielding now, eh? Walk a fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. Eivor, are you scared? I'm ready for what I must do. Do you not see what you do? There's no honor in this. I would grant you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. Leave me no choice. Rude. Please, please oh, I just got fucking drop kicked. I just buried his drop kick. What do you say about that, idiot? Now we're gonna toy with him. You are a fool, Dag. You see why it has gotten you. Silence! I can already tell you, no, no, I don't like the two handed axe. Oh. Nice little shank right above the arm, or right below the armpit. Oh, thank God, he's dead. Oh, please be dead. my hand yes and the cost of disrespect is death you said it yourself all he demanded you gave him that should be enough I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes he fought for what he believed in does that not count for something does it you killed him all the same what is the true cost of disrespect the choice Lies with you. Dag ain't going to Valhalla. No. No! Really good video game, by the way. Super good video game. <sighs> Maybe I go axe and shield. As boring as that sounds.
Do I have to fight Dag again? If I have to fight Dag again, I'm just gonna equip daggers and just go ham on him. I'll cut my axe. Oh, that's upsetting. Literally ruined that cutscene for me now. I was gonna deny Dag entrance into Valhalla. And then my game just crashed. Now we gotta wait here for 10 hours for it to load. Oh, gotta fight Dag again. Okay, well. There we go. Gotta fight Dag again. Fucking lit him up right there, boys. Stop there, Wolf Kissed. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk. For many months, do we don't need we don't need to listen to all this bullshit up, again. Walk away. I ex the beat. All right, we don't need to listen to all that shit again. I'll turn you like a suckling pig. This is the man Walk in the corner away. right now. Walk a fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will be quick. What's the matter, Eivor? Are you scared? Only to what I must do. Leave this place, but go with your life. 
Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. That's fine. any pity I would not lavish it on this poor fool he forced my hand yes and the cost of disrespect is death you said it yourself all he demanded you gave him that should be enough I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes he fought for what he believed in does that not count for something does it you killed him all the same what is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. You should not have come to this, old friend. But you gave no quarter in life, and you received none in death. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Dag. I was nothing but nice to you this entire game. You shit on me every time. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this... This is the answer I gave him! Now you will hear the truth unmanaged. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you! And I will burn the fields! And dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him! That! That is my oath! That is my oath. I will find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl, as I promise. I literally built them all of their fucking buildings and their homes. Like, come on now. It doesn't make sense. Like, logically and story plot wise, that doesn't even make sense. Everyone's turned on Eivor because he killed Dag. Eivor's literally raided villages. Built the village that we all live in, gave you all the resources. I you for that. Wherever you now roam, like I made allegiances so I'm we don't get attacked. Such a fire grew between us. Like the fact that like the people just like don't understand that at all. It was like, oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna listen to this guy that literally has just been eating shit to. Aver the entire game. Okay. Cool. Nice storyline that doesn't make sense. I'm not ready right now, Valka. I'm sorry. I do need to build some stuff. What do you see? We could upgrade the grain farm.
We had to build the grain farm first, apparently. Now it's upgraded, so... I think this is what we're gonna do, chat. We're gonna go back to Baron's axe. Yeah, I'm gonna get the sarcophagus, uh, not the sarcophagus, the, uh, yeah, the sarcophagus. Oops. No shield. Increases melee damage from block like that would make sense, but, you know. No, I'm not one to make sense in life. Like Beowulf's not a bad one either. Chance to ignite your weapon on parry. Gotta get them grains, that's right. Admitted, Alvis. Like, does this look stupid? I feel like this just looks dumb. Let's see what the shield looks like on upgrade. Can't believe the game crashed in that fucking cutscene with everything. Even when Dog was younger, he had a streak in him. Hate to see it go that way. But you did the right thing. Can't imagine what you are feeling. Anyhow, you probably need something, eh? May I see your stores? I can get you that one easy. This will serve you well. I, that ain't bad. You have a key done. I honestly now. I just don't know what I want to do with weapons. I hate all I'm of off. them. Be well, friend. Be well, my friend. Like Vikings don't use tower shields. Like, first of all, so like I'd already don't like it. I like the look I love the look of it, but it doesn't make sense in the game. Go dagger in the offhand. Like you swing, like, like R1 and R2 are your main hand swings, and then if you hold in L1 is your offhand stuff. Dude, if I could transmog, I'm in. If I could transmog my weapons, I'd be in. I would like to see what you have in stock. All my pieces are good. But 
that one. You like the looks of that one? Ready for ba- um, Put that- well, The pieces that don't make sense in this game is literally just like... The story so far. The story is kind of weird right now. And like, this thing is supposed to be a dagger, right? Like, this thing is like a mini sword. Look at it. This is a slightly larger hunting knife at this point now. Like, this is the closest thing I'm getting to a sword in this game. Maybe I just stick with axe and hammer. I don't know. Like, here's the other thing, like, this two-handed sword swings just as fast as my one-handed axe. Kind of looks dumb. I don't know. That's the problem I have with this game, is I, just, I don't like the looks of any of the weapons. I think I'm just gonna go back to dual wielding axes, honestly. I think uh, that that's just, that's my biggest issue with the game is that like this nothing looks good to me in this game, like weapon wise. Like Varen's axe is starting to look kind of cool with like the the gold embroidery on it, but. But like I like bearded it like I like the house girl I like the look of the house girl axe way more. Oh I need to go talk to what's her face. Well I'm glad Dag is finally dead in the game. Admitted Alvis, I am the supreme admitted Alvis. I'm more happy about that than anything else, honestly. I don't have to deal with his dumbass anymore. Eivor, things have settled in Skyros. Yep. I can, I can scarce believe all the warring and grief we went through. Should you find yourself back in the Shire, please come for a visit. How do you feel, Eivor? I feel great. I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. You ordered 
me. That gives us a uh, town upgrade through Sus Sussex. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I can solo the fucking fortress. Let's go. I will go now, and I will bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croydon by now. Oh, 30 already? Holy shit. Uh, I don't- I haven't got hunting, so I have nothing to give them. She can go to hell. I've done zero fishing. Good day! Nope, fish. already, because I've been streaming for four and a half hours. <laughs> Come here, you stupid fish. Regular perch. What? I don't like fishing all that much in this game. I like the harpooning a lot more in Rogue. <laughs> The fishy takes so long when you cast out so far. What the hell's that? I got a haddock. I really just want to like cast right here, boom. And that way I have less less of a space to reel in. That was a big one. Did you see that son of a bitch come in? Oh, oh, we're glitching through the docks. Well, that's a big son of a bitch. Good lord. Brown trout. Big. Yeah, that was fucking Jurassic, dude. Good lord. <laughs> I 
They just don't make brown trout like they used to, apparently. Oh, there's another one right there. I see him. I see him. Oh. He's... Oh! The fuck happened? Game cheated me. Can't see the fish as well on the side. Felt robbed. Chat, where's all the fish? I mean, it's really all downhill from here for fishing, right? Like, I caught, like, a Jurassic-sized trout, so... <gasps> well, it's definitely in my pocket somewhere. Basically caught the king trout and like no one else, no, nothing else wants to bite now. I get it, I understand. Hey kid, I caught a king trout. something that may interest you yeah big ass trout not even grandfather has caught one of these oh, a small perch not a medium perch 
Oh, I need a regular brown trout, not a big brown trout. We've been looking for this fish for okay. a long time. Oh, if you're gonna talk a bunch, just shut the hell up, Rooney. He must have put up quite a fight. Oh yeah, it was brutal. Only a true fisherman could catch this one. Well, I'm a true fisherman, chat. You see, you hear that? That's tungsten. We want, we want that. I've never even seen this fish close up. You caught this? Sure did. By bare hands. Thanks for the fish. Oh, anytime, kid. Oh. Come visit again soon. That yeah, kid's talking shit and doesn't even know what the hell's going on. this real quick <laughs> that's gonna attract the fish you see this is how we catch the big ones you gotta make sacrifices sometimes see look at that right there I saw it See, look at that. Oh, look at that. I told you. You gotta make sacrifices sometimes, boys. Yo, Wook, thanks for the 10 person raid, my dude. You've, uh, you've come to watch us fish. Ha! Oh, got another Jurassic fish here. Look at that. See? Brown trout big. You have to sacrifice the horse. In order to get the big fish. Ugh. That's just what you gotta do sometimes. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this big fish because the fishing hut doesn't need it. But I got a big fish. Ah. I should really buy that fishing, those fishing journals. So I know where to catch the fish. How a stream, bud? <laughs> well, I caught a bunch of fish earlier. Then we then we went out casting and couldn't catch a thing because nothing was biting. So I killed my horse and it fell off the dock into the water and I caught another big fish. So Diablo two, still better than Diablo three. What have you got for me today? Talk to me, Goose. Get tungsten. Three point two attack rune ain't bad. A lot of health for that too. I got two grand on me. Let's just go buy those fishing journals. 90 silver, 160, 180. Only a true warrior can pull that off. Yes, great purchase. Titanium. I wish I had. I wish I could buy tungsten from her. Only a fool. Is that everything? It's a Daryl size load of iron. Do I go through like four Daryl four Daryl size load size loads of iron? Whenever I upgrade weapons, like I still don't have enough iron to upgrade that to the next level. Alright, I'm at, I'm at iron again. 
out of iron already, so, well, good talk there. Alright, where we gotta go next? We could do some cleanup. We need to still need still need to do Jotunheim with Falka. I'm almost high. I could probably do this raid, but it'd be a little rough. Yeah, we still need to do Jotunheim with Valka. No, that raid would whoop my ass to, at this point. Well, there's Glowcastle, Glow, Glowshire, Glow. Yep, Glowcaster. So we could do that. That little mini quest to get a flail that I'll never use. I believe that's the base. Let's go over there. Jar of Rosewater Mead to the Hermit Hut at the feet of the mountain north of Sabri oh, Sabrina Springs. I was it's in that zone. Four whole dare yeah. Sometimes five even. Like the armor has the armor takes uh, ore too to upgrade. Like you need so much ore. And like you can go mining for it, but like you only get three pieces of ore per mine. It's fucking useless. So literally all you do is, is you make sure you have 200, 200 silver on you, go gamble 200 of it flighting, because it's almost a guaranteed win, and then you just use the 200 you want to buy 200 ore. It's super, it's way faster to do it that way. Yeah, we don't know where the springs is here yet. We haven't ventured into this zone yet. I really don't want to start this tonight either. Because God knows something would break if I started it. Um, we've already had one crash tonight. I really don't want another one. We need what, four more wealth out of here. There's one. Two. Three. I don't know where the four that might not have right there four. No. What? One, two, three. There's five. My thing says there's only four or whatever. My mentality, if it's not contributing to an achievement trophy, I'll handicap myself for the entire play, yeah. Well, I think there's a trophy or a ubi challenge to fully upgrade a piece of item. I don't, it, I don't think it matters if it's armor or weapon. But the problem is, like, like 98% of the weapons in this game are fucking useless. Like, whoa, I increased stun on heavy attack. Who gives a shit? Like, you use talent into stun already by default, organically, when you're fucking talenting. Like, why is that? Why does that have to be on a weapon? Whoa, your speed increases when parrying. Why? I don't need speed when I'm fucking fighting somebody. Like, you parry and you dodge. Like, you don't need to be, like, fucking Usain Bolt while fighting somebody. Like, none of the weapons are worthwhile at all in the game. There's, like, three weapons that just you give a damn about, and the rest is just whatever. Well, we, you need to do the Ubi Challenge just now. Honestly, the double shield is is honestly probably your your best route to go in this game, and it's weird to say that. What the fuck was that? Why am I being attacked? I literally just walked up to you, asshole. Oh. 
You want some? Idiot. Get me attacked for nothing. Do I should show you the shield execute. The shield execute. I haven't seen the heavy shield execute yet, but the uh, the light shield execute is absolutely brutal. Oh, there's a bunch of sleeping people in here. We'll do it here. I, I want to see the heavy shield one first, though. Fucking fortress. Get out of here with that nonsense. Who in the right mind dual wields tower shields, hey? Oh, okay. Wanna try it again? Okay, apparently parry doesn't work on this thing. I will light these shields on fire, my dude. Let's go find someone on the road and execute him. Like yeah, they look cool. I I will I will give it that. It looks awesome. I need to find someone to execute. I need. I don't know what the execute looks like on these on these shields here. Yeah, oh, hey! oh dog shit! <laughs> we don't play nice. Like I'm in an anime when I'm running with these things when they're out like that. All right, let's go find someone. The the light shield execution is great. I need to see the heavy the heavy shield one. I haven't seen the flail one either, but who cares? It's the flail. Oh, there's some people. You gotta be sneaky about it. They definitely didn't see us. Oh, that's good shit! That's about the same as the light shield. Light shield has one extra animation of bashing them in the head and then killing them. God, that's good stuff. Nothing like decapitating a person with a shield. Really is nothing like it. Right, let's go find someone else. I'll show you the light shield execute. We need to go big game hunting yet, too. We got a lot of cleanup to do around here. What? Oh, we got a bush dweller.
I like how you didn't pop up in my little. Oh, you, oh you, yeah. You, oh, you're dead. Oh. Just light your shields on fire. Ow! <laughs> Alright. That just wrapped me up in his flame arms. Weirdo. That's a fox. I have some sea of thieves again. Yeah, I do for sure. I find I got my Microsoft account back. <laughs> my Microsoft account back. <laughs> I had my sea of thieves stuff on it. There's the light shield one. Yeah, that's a good one. Just Captain America. Yeah, the the shield executes are so goddamn good. And like they like they're not much off like 49 speed, 65 attack, but it only has three upgrades to it. Like, this has 7 upgrades, 50 speed, 118 tag. Like, they're not far off each other either. Like, that's the funniest part. Like, dual wielding shields is super, super viable in the game. That's the best part about it. The tower shields are slower than shit, but that's to be expected. They're tower shields. Oxford. They'll never know I'm here. Could use a drink. Getting hungry. Yeah, no, I'd be down for Sea of Thieves. I have to reinstall it. But yeah, I'd be down for Sea of Thieves again. I don't even know what's in that game anymore. Like, they've probably added so much stuff since I've last played. What was right there? Because the last time I played... The last time I played... The, the Megalodon was new. Yeah, the Megalodon was new the last time I played. This is another dumb quest. I want to do something fun. This is probably a Roman artifact, if I had to guess. Like, I need to do these regardless for platinum, but like... They're so boring. Like here, so like... Here are the, here are the ores, right? Here's the mines that you have to hit. So right there... Oh, that was actually a decent mine. Maybe they get better as you get, get out of the way, horse. Oh, maybe they get better as you go later into the game. Maybe it's actually worth mining now, because at with the start of the game, when you break it, when you break a a mine, you only get one ore. 
maybe two if you're lucky. So it just didn't seem worth them. I'm still gonna buy them because you know I can I can win drinking tournaments in this game like it's nothing. Sweet fog, by the way. This looks like a curse. Malevolence. This land can escape affliction. Yep. Oops, this, this looks like a curse zone. So. Oh, and there's poison. Yeah, it might scale. See a thieves videos. Something is not right. These are true. Who else do? I have a bunch of like archive see a thief videos on my hard drive that I like edited and. They're ready to go on YouTube, I just never put them live. I have a bunch of clips too of Sea of Thieves that I had downloaded before I deleted them all. Like I have, I have the one video of me drunkenly trying to repair the ship when, when, when we were fighting somebody. And I couldn't stand still to repair the hole. I have our, I think right. I have our first, uh, our first skull, May. skull cloud Able. raid too. Something about this tree important to you. It's the leaves. I have the, I have our, I had a kraken fight fall into the ground. as well. And now only one remains. And still no return. It's been six weeks. Six weeks since he's it's gone to been. Lincoln in search of work. I wish he stayed just one more season. He was so yeah, sure, sure the fields wouldn't yield, but we could have tried. Your father sounds like an honest man. Went looking for work to take care of you. He would make every effort to return home, and that is reason enough to hope. But this, it serves no purpose to fret like you are. Then what should I do? Carry on, as if he were to return tomorrow, no matter what happens to this leaf. Yes. Yes, I shall do as you say. My father would want the same. Thank you, Eivor. Maybe, You're welcome. Maybe I'll wait just a little bit longer. Yeah. Till the goats begin to bray. Or... Better, better just wait. Yes. <gasps> oh my god, the leaf! What could have happened to it? What? No, 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 you... <sighs> I suppose that's it then. Carry on with your life, Ray. A brutal Viking, man. I'm not a nice Viking at all. <laughs> Try like I remember my night, but my guy's name is Huey, but I forgot like his full name. Oh, look, look at this chump. I taught I taught her a lesson. I taught her that you can shoot a shoot a leaf with a bow and arrow. Some help over here. This yep. skull had the bright Easy friend. I think you may have eaten something that did not agree with you. Today my saga is writ! Glory! Ah, a brave steed has swept me up. Onward to my loyal companion! If I don't stop him, something or someone less forgiving will. You want me to punch him? Stay close by. Wait for him to tire. Maybe we can trip him. <laughs> Damn it. My belly 
Tracks down Eivor, assassinates him, and takes takes her place among the Templars. And she might now. I'm gonna put it past her. There is no fight I will flee. And should the gods answer my I don't know, the whole no assassin the Templar thing nowadays is just uh not, it seems like it's not even a thing anymore with the last few Assassin's Creed games. Like, Origins didn't even have the Brotherhood oh, until me. literally the, the ending of the game. Oh, I cleared out this camp already for you, bud. You keep this up, you are going to get yourself killed. Are you hearing me? Yeah! Loud and clear! And then now Odyssey... So that I may fulfill my destiny! Yeah! Odyssey didn't have the Brotherhood at all because it was before Origin. Does that make sense? What is that? I'm going to have to drag you back myself, huh? Oh, okay. Go ahead and leave you then. struck by a sudden wave of... Um, they honestly had the Hidden Blade DLC that I didn't play yet, but, like, they have nothing with a Brotherhood at all, and Templars technically My don't exist. The they exist in a different before, name called Order of the Ancients, but they're, they're not, there's no Templars yet, so to speak. The only thing that exists in this game is the Brotherhood. Which means that this game's take this game takes place after no Origins, this but I have before but Assassin's man Creed One. Best to resist is to piss in the wind. I think I can no longer. Your skull. Gods, is he dead? Not no, yet. but he should be. Seems the gods disagree this time. Splash water in his face and keep your distance. He will throw up something fierce. Thank you for the advice and for your trouble, which is now my problem. <sighs> All right. There's so many mysteries. Oh, there's so much stuff. Oh, okay, so this little, like, island here didn't count towards wealth for some reason. Alright. Makes sense, I guess. There's something there. Like, there's not much to do in London, but... I really don't give a shit about London at all. We've already been to Stonehenge. Can we fight a legendary animal? We haven't fought a legendary animal in, in, a, in a day. We can fight a legendary lynx. That's what that is. That's in the end game level too, ain't it? Yeah, that's in the end game zone too. That could be a fun fight. How's this? Yeah, like a legendary wolf right there we could do. But that's gonna be up. Oh, no, actually, uh, that won't be up level, but. I don't know if that would be as fun. We got a legendary pig right there. I think those are the last three we have left to do. There's the dark portal. Um, I think those are the last three we have left to do. The legendary fights. Where? I don't even know where I'm at right now. Where am I at? Right there. Literally in the middle. Um, <clears throat> let's go fight the pig. Yeah, like, yeah, like I said, this game has the Brotherhood, but no Templars. So it's after Origins, but before Assassin's Creed 1. 
I'm assuming they'll make an Assassin's Creed game that introduces the Templars, right? That would be dumb if they didn't. So it's not like the Templars play a small role in these games. What I wish they would, if they do make a game where it has the transition from Order of the Ancients to Templars, I wish they make it so that you play as the Templar during that transition and then convert to the Brotherhood or vice versa. This game, yeah. I mean, all of them can be, really. Well, all of them but two Brotherhood and Revelations. Yeah, all of them can be played separately. You just have you 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 won't you won't understand the big story. I mean, most people don't know the big story even after playing it. But completed saga. Nice. Watch out for that tree there, bud. But I mean, even playing them in order, chrono chronological order, so Odyssey, Origin, Bahama, <coughs> etc. Even then, like, you still will be like, what the hell is the story about? Who's Juno? Who are the Isu? Depends how you want to take it. Like I, I love Assassin's Creed, so like I, I'm all about like the big, broader story of it, right? Defending Earth from the from the second, from its well, third destruction technically, second in recent history. <laughs> and then, like the fun thing about this is that like. You don't really know who the bad guys are. Like, you're playing as the Brotherhood, so you think you're the good guys. But, like, you could be the bad guys, right? And the Templars could be the good guys. Like, you just don't know. Like, it's a whole, it's a whole, like, how do I want to play this game? And what side do I, what side do I actually, like, side with? Like when I when we when we played Rogue, like it let us play as a Templar and like literally it just blew the it blew the whole like story dynamic wide open for me. Alright, where's the pig? Where's the pig? I'm ready to fight it. I hear it. Troll cursed creature. Oh, three, three ten. All right. Oh, it's in heavy. It's in heavy, heavy grass too. Sucks in the high grass, man.
having a fit. Thor mm, lends me strength. They're charging again. Very too, too early. Oh, okay, you pushed me out. God damn it, very too early again. Never mind. Dude, that hurts so much when he turns around for no reason. Great. Need my stamina to get back up. Fuck you, game. I get I'm not supposed to be fighting this pig right now because, you know, it is a hundred levels higher than me. But, like... Oh, I can't see in the high grass. I don't like that. Mention a boar dropping ore. Why would I put it past this game? You imagine killing something a hundred levels higher than you, though. See, that's the shit I like to do. Like, I like fighting things like super higher level than me. They give you a lot of leather. Like, the legendary animals give you a ton of leather. So going into this next fight, we're gonna need rations. I'm gonna need food. Which means I'm gonna need to shoot some deer. No, foxes don't do it for me. I need like a bear or something. Bear, deer, like, uh, caribou, elk, whatever you wanna call it. That's kind of what I need right now. No. 
We're gonna knock out legendary animals tonight. I've, I've decided. The Lynx is gonna be tough because the Lynx is literally in the end end game content area. So I have no idea what level that thing is going to be. That thing could be 400. Oh, there's a there's a deer. So. Yeah. she is. I really don't need the adrenaline right off the get go, so I can just build that up as I oh I need more wow. That deer gave me nothing. I love how sheep are just like aimlessly wandering in this game. Five more. Yeah, better than nothing, I guess. How much food do you give me? You don't give me any food. Gotcha. Well, that sheep calls ass. Things you don't find common in England. Bears. I go to Norway, I can find a bear in a heartbeat. I come to England, I come across like two bears. I come across like three bears. Oh, that thing is gone. I don't even know where it went. Oh, it's over there running around like an asshole. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch! That didn't even hit the tree! I got robbed. You know what? Yeah, now you're yeah. dead. I got robbed on that shot. I didn't even hit the tree, game wise. You know what game has the best hunting in it? Red Dead Revolver 2. Red Dead Revolver 2 has the best hunting in, in it, and it's strategic hunting, because you can't use, you know, a high-powered rifle on a squirrel, because, well, you need squirrel pelts sometimes, and, uh... <laughs> or Red Dead Redemption 2. Revol I played Revolver a couple months ago. All the way through. I did 100 percent it, but I played it. I played it back in October, I think. No, no, I meant Red Dead Redemption 2, not Revolver. Oh, wow, there's a lot of uh Elkie boys out here. Yeah! I need, uh, I need the horn or something of them. Apparently that's a rare item according to this yeah. one. Fuck. It's all white tail. Full on rations. We're good. To, uh, we're good to go now. Yeah. The revolver is just boring. The issue I have with revolver is the fucking oh oh angry pig. The issue I have with revolver is uh, the stupid duels. The duels are the worst. I 
especially at the end of the game. Like the end of the game, you have to do a duel, and you literally have like 0.25 seconds to react to anything. Oh, look, a bear. Fine. Okay, let's. You know what? Let's go, bear. You and me. I'm just gonna go one on one with a great one. Yeah, the duels are awful. Alright, we got wolves in here. I already know what to expect in here. I already heard the, the howls. The question is how many am I gonna have to fight? I see one. <laughs> Oh, that's a big boy too. I cannot let this abomination live. Oh. Just trying to shoot your weak points, sir. Can't hit that back one. Shit. This thing's up level, so it's not gonna be very fun. is on fire. I mean, oh, yeah, here they all come now. Yep. I was wondering when the wolves, the other wolves were going to come. Damn it, I missed it. Legendary dog. Angry dog. I don't have any arrows. That sucks. There it is. Always a good Always a good meeting. right there.
was the hit? That was the stun attack? That was a weak ass attack. Where'd it go? Oh, it ran back over there. Damn it! Oh, there's more of them now, there's four of them now. burning dogs right here. Oh, let's get this, uh, sink point right here, too, while we're at it. The get mad wool. Why? Quit rolling into the leaves. We're not seven. The cool thing about the legendary animals, I will give the I will give the de devs this that the, the animals actually have phases to them, to where like if you either take out their armor, which is that top yellow bar completely, or if you uh, get them down to like half health or both, they uh, they start to do other other things to change up the pattern. start to do other other things that cause more threats. They actually did a really good job with uh, the fights. Let's go mark this one again. This is our last legendary animal right here. Closest waypoint to it. We'll see how this one goes. Curious to see how uh, how this fight goes. Like I said, this is this is an end game end game zone, and we are nowhere near end game yet. So. I would assume this Lynx is probably 400 at, at least. So that puts it about 200 levels higher than us. Which means we'll actually have to pay attention to the fight. The, the boar fight was interesting because it was all in high grass and it was actually really hard to see the boar. But what the game does wrong with the fights is that the bull, the elk, the moose, and the boar have had all the same fighting patterns. Red basket of Wessex. Land they, they, they've, they've all been the same. They, they weren't unique at all. The, uh, the wolf... The wolf was unique so far. I have a feeling that the lynx and the wolf might be very similar. Um, the bears was unique, because, well, it's a fucking bear. Alright, well, where are we going here, horse? 
What's up, dudes? Can I ride with you? Idiot. Hello, friend. We need to find a bird to punch out of the air like we did before, the other day. Across the old bridge here. Oh yeah, people are going to be real angry if they cross this bridge, aren't they? Hell with them. Floating something. Oh, it's a bird. Real foggy. Real, uh, real foggy. Lucky. Hey! Alright, we're still in, we're still in the low level area. They don't have skulls on them, so we're still in the low level area. <laughs> That's where we gotta go, is way over there. When that little diamond next to their health bar is red, is they're high level and a danger to us. When that little diamond is a red skull, that is a certain death. Uh, I think I'm well over 60 now. I think I am well over 60, and I'm maybe halfway through the story. It's hard to tell where you are in the story because you can kind of do stuff all over the place. Like there's no there's no linear order to it. But yeah, I, I probably have around 60 hours in the game now. I do a lot of side stuff because I want to platinum the game. Like right now, we're gonna go kill a uh, legendary links in the end game uh, end game region. So who knows how this is gonna turn out? If I can fight a three ten, that if I can fight, oh, I got double adrenaline for that. If I can fight a three ten bear and a three ten pig at two hundred at two twenty. I could take a 400, 400 cat, no problem. I did the bull and the bear and all the wolves today. Did you get your, uh, your, your, your Petra arc bow, which is like, which is the best bow in the game? God, but it's so good. Oh, I need arrows, speaking of bow. I don't have any arrows. Haven't used it. I upgraded mine to silver because I still can't find tungsten abundantly yet. But uh, it, it's a super good bow. Shop. Nothing wrong with that. Don't crash on me again. Don't crash on me again. A little, a little, a little worried on that one. You already crashed once tonight. Don't need you to crash again. Oh, there's an item upgrade in there. I think I'm in. I think I'm in Hampshire though, so I can't even go in there. Right? Well, I could, but it, it would not be. It would not end well. Yeah, I had I got the uh, I got the addition I got the uh, version of the game that gave you the Berserker armor, so I've been using that. For yeah, I'm on PS4 as well. I'm on the the base like OG PS4, and uh, I crashed today in a cutscene. Yeah, these these are angry people. Yeah, see, there's a skull right there. They're very angry people.
This is also my third attempt at playing the game, too. I, I've ran into two game-breaking bugs on two different playthroughs before this. So... And almost a third one with this playthrough. Well, do I need... Uh, do I need rations? Oh, we're here. Do I need rations? I know I need arrows. I have one arrow. Like, I feel like I'm gonna like. There's the pit right there. Oh, that is an angry. Oh, there's two of them down there. This reminds me of the wolf fight in Asgard already. And I was not a fan of that fight. Dude, there is nothing here to prep you. Good lord. <laughs> there is nothing here to prep you for this fight. Oh no. Alright, well. Uh, where, where are we at? There are three sink points. <laughs> Okay, Assassin's Creed one, good one. Well, by trolls. Oh no! Well, they're 340. That ain't bad. Two of them sucks, but we need to kill. I think we need to kill the smaller one. Maybe the bigger one if it keeps being aggressive. has been the most aggressive so far. Oh, oh, it dodged my jump attack. All right. Oh, I can't see it in the grass. This tall one, okay, this big one needs to go. This is by far the most aggressive cat. Ooh, knocked that one, didn't I? Oh, that one's gonna kill me. Oh. Oh. I am not doing a lot of damage to these things. Oh, I see Elder and Young. Okay, I see the difference between them now. It's on me. How, how do I get it off? I don't know how to get it off me. That thing just like ate me. The only game I, I kind of had that I kind of had break on me was Dark Siders 3. First play through the entire save got corrupted and completely deleted. I I want to like Dark Sider games. I love the premise of Dark Sider games. I love that it's you know war, death, and uh, what it was the other one, pestilence. Like I I love the uh... trust me, brother. This is not my first party with high high level animals, and I can only hit the weak spots with arrows, and I have one. It, it does help, yeah, but at the same time, it's at something this high level, it doesn't help all that much. 
Not more, not as much as you think it does. It comes down to literally just like playing the game the way you're supposed to play it. Dodging like a god. Basically, I need that cat not to jump on my back. That's fine. And not to get called like that. So I don't know where that little cat's at right now. That's the big thing, is this understanding where the hell the cat, the other cat is at all times. That's the, that, ow, that's the challenge that we're having right now. Dude, that little cat is getting very aggressive now all of a sudden. Like that little cat trying to get behind me. Oh, that was close. Now it's just me and the little one. I finally hit it in one of its weak spots. <laughs> It's other weak spots, it's back leg. I know where it's at, but I can't get an angle at it at all. There it is. Yeah, 
it's, it, it did a little bit of damage, but... There it is. Oh. Easy game. I had a gamer face that one though. Yeah, when it was fighting its elder, it wanted to get behind you to jump on your back. I, that was something else. Can you wear the head? No. I'm gonna go mount it in my longhouse. Is what I'm gonna go do. Let's go get this sink point. Oh, we have something here. That we can jump to. I'm gonna go turn in all the legendary heads right now, and then we'll go look at them in the longhouse. Excuse me. No, when you're fighting something that high level, like the weak spots are okay. Like it does a little, it does an, an okay amount of damage. But uh, typically, when you fight something that's a hundred some levels higher than you, it comes down to dodging. Like, don't, I don't even worry about parrying. Dodge. Dodge everything. Dodge whatever you can. Parrying, can, parrying only does so much, in my, my opinion, in this game. And the parrying is already finicky as it is. How the hell do I get into this? I just want the fast travel. Yeah. The gods here are vigilant. The gods here are vigilant. Job horse. <laughs> Can't be crawling through there, not can I? This is fucking Fort Knox over here, dude. Can't get in. so dumb that you can't just hop over that quick. Alright, what well, the hell with it then? Say about that. The 
This must be this must be uh, plot locked right now. I'm assuming this is plot locked. Because there is no way in. Oh, no, maybe right here. Oh, yeah, there's a way in. There's always a way in. Cheerio! Cheerio! Nothing to see here. Alright, we need a. We need a. Avar, you're. You just lightly walking on the horse is not gonna cut it right now. These people are very angry in this zone. Can I sink, guys? My yeah, buddy. All right. Try to shoot one of those guys in the head. Well, actually, does a decent amount of damage. Wow, that's impressive. Eight skill points to use up to. Oh, is that emergency aim? Did it give me that? Nice. It's awesome they gave me emergency aim. I like, I like how it's just going down the wolf line for me now, too. Because it's like, well, there's nothing else left to do. Wolf. It ain't all bad. I mean, it'll help my bow. My, uh, my, my bow stats quite a bit. I use my bow a lot before I enter camps to pick, pick people off. So it, it's not all bad. slow times in the lands right now dude i can't wait to play cyberpunk on the ps4 oh man if we think the load times are bad for assassin's creed valhalla dude i can't imagine what they're gonna be like on cyberpunk oh my god <laughs> i cannot imagine what they're gonna be like on cyberpunk we don't need to wear our cloak in town sir Strange times these. <laughs> Wonder if he has something different than Oh, you a Petra looking for a white elk. Let's see. Let's see if he gives me something different. You and Petra chasing a white elk in the woods high as we speak clouds, my god. Beautiful, beautiful. Nature is amazing. Oh, it's not all the legendary shit. I got some tattoos. I don't know where this is at at all. I apparently have seen it because it's here. So I'm missing two right now.
Beast of the Hills. Which I honestly don't know where this is at. I don't even know what this one could be. But they go from easiest to hardest, and the hardest ones are done. So. I have to go. See you soon. Tell Patrick Happy I said hi. Oh, okay, good. This has been different that time, at least. I'm at a loss where this other animal is. Maybe it's in a land I haven't discovered yet? Yeah, I was really hoping to be done with the legendary animals tonight. I will say, we've put in some work tonight in this game, though. We have put in some serious work in this game tonight. I have no idea where that bear was at. Not a clue. I have no idea. This is Stonehenge, by the way. And then Ex Excelsior, which is the best weapon in the game, but I'm not I'm not going to use it, is like right in here in the cave. We'll get it just to get it, but I'm not gonna use it. It looks dumb. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck if I know where this thing is at. Weird. We'll come across as we come across it, but we can go look at our heads now. So, there's a wolf head that we just killed tonight. There's another wolf head that we killed tonight. There's the big elk. That was the first thing that we killed in the game. See, there's still there's a spot missing there. There's the bull that we killed a couple nights ago. Mouse, anyway. how are you, my boy? This is the polar bear that we magically killed in Norway. This is the pig we just killed earlier. And this is the lynx that we or the wildcat we just killed. So I have the second plant of grain farm done. We just built our cattle farm. So I have to upgrade that. And then we have the fowl farm, which I don't think I've... Uh, have I built the, the cock farm yet? I don't even know. I feel like I might have, but I can't remember if I did or not. Uh, let's get a buff going. We'll get a buff going, then I'm gonna fast travel down to down closer to the other quest. And then uh, that'll be it probably for the evening. Yeah, we done a lot tonight in the game. Good lord. Like I look at the map and it doesn't look like we did a lot. But we've done a lot in the game tonight.
yeah, we got new tattoos. I'm gonna check out the new tattoos quick. I am the superior wordsmith. Admit to a falsehood? I would sooner square a circle. I have some new styles for you. I would like to see what you have in stock. I wish I could shave my head and not buzz it in the game, but it is what it is, I guess. No, don't like it. I'll keep what we currently have. The mark of Odin's not bad, actually. Nothing more? I will see you later, friend. friend. Goodbye, Eivor. See if I can clip to the building. I clipped to the building again earlier today. That was kind of funny. that building once um let's see sussex yeah i haven't even installed cyberpunk yet on the playstation i mean honestly by the time we get to cyberpunk i'll probably have a ps5 like ps5s will probably be a thing that i can just get once I get to Cyberpunk, and I have a free PS5 upgrade for Cyberpunk, so. I, mean, I, have, a f I have a free PS5 upgrade for this game too, but once this game is platinumed, it's probably gonna get shelved like the rest of them.